Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today on a gorgeous Tuesday morning, we are just outside of Nashville, Tennessee, where we will watch Nashville Electric Service install a new steel distribution pole on an energized line. This new distribution pole is needed in order to supply more power to a tempered glass factory that is going in just down the line here. And the current line needs to remain energized as it is in the middle of the week with a lot of businesses and customers relying on their electric power. Our participating utility is Nashville Electric Service, and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now let's start with the on-site job safety briefing, and the foreman here will talk about special considerations for working around energized lines. We're going to be sending a six-foot pole today in line. Got it laid out, got the recloser out, the sun is still up at 11, so we'll make sure everything's covered up good. The steel pole's got to be double, double covered before we sit it. And what the foreman just said there about being doubled covered is represented here. These covers, these orange covers are on the pole itself on the ground. And double covering simply means that these lines will also be covered by the line sleeves you see them pulling out of the truck here. So we will see that as we proceed on this job. But here again is that pole on the ground as they're getting ready to connect it to the crane and lift it. Yeah. And as he makes this attachment to the crane, you're going to hear them discuss both the weight and balance concerns of raising this pole. Pick it up a little bit. I think we're really heavy. Well, wait, let's check it real quick. Yeah, we're really heavy. Yeah, we're really heavy. Now, in this case, when he's referring to being really heavy, he's talking about one end of the pole being heavy. So they're looking for a balancing point. So the solution here is to move that rope, the connection to the crane, until they find just the right uh, balance point in the middle of that pole in order to be lifting it with that crane and it not feeling unbalanced on either the top or bottom. Gable off a little bit. Oh. Good. And now they will finish installing those guards or blankets right, on the very top good. of the pole. Then it's time to start lifting. Yeah. Hold that, Zach. Let him get that covered up real quick. And what he's talking about covering up are these lines at the top here, as we <laughs> see. Remember the line sleeves they were taking off of the truck? Now the lineman up in the bucket is going to cover those lines so there's no incidental contact with the lines as they're installing the pole. And while we're up here, let's watch a little bit of this pole raising and setting from the GoPro camera in the bucket truck. And here, in fact, is footage of that pole being raised, actually sped up to twice its normal speed. You see the vehicles coming by a little faster than they are in real life. But this is to demonstrate the raising of the pole using that crane and then setting it upright vertically in its new location. And in fact, as we go back to the bucket truck view, you're going to see as we look down here, the crew on the ground helping set that pole in place. And now we're back on the ground watching the ground crew use what is called a cant hook or cant stick to spin the pole for proper orientation yeah, for the new line. And next is a guy helping not only orient the pole correctly but also plumb bobbing it to make sure it's true vertical. Good there. Now once that is done we can uh, use the bobcat or bulldozer to put a little rock in at the base of the pole to strengthen its setting in the ground. Also use a tamping Good. tool and shovels to shovel more right. rock and dirt into that base of the pole. Now we can pull the crane away, put away the bobcat. 
and now we can add some pole identification numbers to the, our newly installed steel distribution pole. And we will close with some wide shots of the crew taking down the sleeves that were on the new pole as it was installed. You have now seen our TND How video on the installation of a steel distribution pole on an energized line. Our participating utility was Nashville Electric Service. This video was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you as always for watching.